So you have a problem with bed bugs. You go into your daughter's bedroom or your son's bedroom. They've been complaining for several days about bites on their arms and their legs. And you figure, oh, it's probably just a mosquito. So you go into their room to tuck them in at night and a bed bug is crawling up on the bed. You're not really sure what it is, so you look it up on the internet and you find out that, that sure enough, it is a bed bug and they've been being bit by bed bugs all along. You're really upset. You feel like a horrible parent. How could you have let this go on for so long? Your children have been eaten alive by bed bugs while they're asleep at night when they're most vulnerable. Does this sound like you? Does this sound like something you've been through? My name is Jason Akers. I work with Green Acres Pest Control. I own my own company and I've been doing pest control since I was six, seven years old. I'm second generation. I've been dealing with bed bugs for over 22 years. So I'm, I'm kind of an expert in the, situ <laughs> in the, in the, uh, in the field of bed bug control and, and extermination of bed bugs. So I've been on YouTube now for four years helping people deal with their bed bug problem. The very first video I ever did was why heat treatments don't work on bed bugs. So it's been four long years. Do heat treatments work now? Have the, has the technology improved at all to allow for heat treatments to actually work? What has changed in four years? So that's what we're going to go over today. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, oh, my daughter made me that. I have to wear it today at work because it's my bling. But anyway, if you really like the video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do live streams every Thursday night and I also uh, typically upload a video every Tuesday. So if you're uh, interested in doing your own pest control or figuring out if you know hiring pest control is right for you, then think about you know following me on YouTube because this is where I'm at. <laughs> Uh, so, four years ago in August, I made a video explaining why heat treatments are not successful to eliminate bed bugs. So, one of the things I get a lot on that video, still to this day, it's reaching about 200,000 uh, views. It's up there, pretty far up there. Um, and it's got about a 50 50 dislike ratio, so which means that you know, for every person that's liked the video, there's another person that, that don't like the video, don't like what I have to say. And I'm sure this one will get a lot of thumbs down too because, you know, things haven't really changed all that much when it comes to heat treatments. Um, but I'm going to go over the specifics and I'm going to explain to you why heat treatments do not work on bed bugs and why I am having to go behind other exterminators and fix their bed bug mistakes. So when I first made that video, I talked about why heat treatments don't work. I explained in that video that bed bugs don't just live on your bed. They don't just live in your sheets, in your covers, in your comforters. They don't just live in your box springs. They don't just live on your furniture. Now, if bed bugs only lived on your furniture, you could probably do a heat treatment and it would absolutely work because there's not really anywhere for the bed bugs to retreat to get away from the heat. But in a home or an apartment, they will live in your wall. They will go in around your light switches, in your electrical sockets, behind your curtain rods where there's, you know, screw holes and stuff in the wall. They will go into your plaster. They will hide inside the wall. They will go behind the baseboards and squeeze in around your sheetrock. So what? how does a heat treatment penetrate the wall? How does it get into the wall, into the insulation? Isn't insulation in the wall, isn't that to be able to keep the heat out or keep the AC in? Isn't that designed with the RF factor in order to keep the heat where the heat needs to be? Well, of course. If it didn't, your, your electric bills would be sky high. So when they do a heat treatment, the heat does not 
penetrate your wall voids, especially exterior walls. So if you've got uh, insulation in the walls, the bed bugs are going to live in your insulation. They absolutely do live around in the insulation inside the wall. They, um, they will not die from a heat treatment. Now, four years ago, the way heat treatments were being done is they were doing an end-all end all solution. The uh, tech would come out or the salesman would come out to your house and they're like, oh, we're going to sell you this heat treatment. It's going to work. We're going to get rid of all your bed bugs super fast. You're going to be able to sleep in the bed tonight and you're not going to have bed bugs tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. You're going to have relief finally. Your children are going to be able to sleep peacefully and you're not going to have problems with bed bugs. It's going to be wonderful. How much would you pay? Would you pay a thousand dollars? Would you pay two? Well, wait, there's more. We're going to come out and we're going to give you a 90 day guarantee. That's the kind of sales technique these guys will use in order to sell you a heat treatment. But now, I guess since the making of that video over four years ago, uh, they've changed their sales pitch. So now, instead of only heat and, oh, it's so safe and it's no pesticides around your children and all the different things they like to say to sell a heat treatment, now they're saying, well, now what we're going to do is we're going to come in, we're going to do a heat treatment, and we're going to apply a pesticide residual down. So does the heat treatment work? The reason that the heat doesn't work is because when you turn the heat machine off, there is nothing to kill bed bugs. Nothing. The heat's gone. So when the bed bugs come out of the wall and they start biting you tonight after your heat's been turned off, there's nothing to kill them. So what do you do? Well, you put down a chemical residual because the heat actually doesn't work. The reason that they do a pesticide residual after a heat treatment is because the heat doesn't kill all the bed bugs. That's the issue. So what I do to kill bed bugs, because this is one of the things people like to yell at me, they like to get on and they like to say, well then fine, then how do you kill them? If you don't use heat, how do you get rid of bed bugs? Well, the way I get rid of bed bugs is I treat the beds. I use Crossfire. Crossfire is a very loose label pesticide. It allows you to treat um, mattresses, box springs. It allows you to treat sofas. It allows you to treat everywhere that bed bugs live. All right? And then the places that they don't. And so when the bed bugs crawl out of the cracks and crevices to try to bite you to get into your bed, they die. Because they crawl over the bed and they die. They don't see the chemical. And one of the differences with Crossfire and any other pesticide you can buy on the market is that other pesticides are not targeted for bed bugs. So Crossfire is only for bed bugs. Only for bed bugs. It's not for anything but bed bugs. It's labeled only for bed bugs. At least at the time of this video. I don't know if they've added anything. You know, you may be watching this later. Read the label and see. But it's only for bed bugs. It's a specialty chemical. So most of your pesticides that technicians use when they come into your house are not specialty chemicals. They're a one size fits all. So what does that mean? That means if they go to your neighbor's house, they could treat your neighbor's house for ants, and they come to your house, treat your house for bed bugs with the ant chemical. All right. Now that's not necessarily you know, a bad thing, but the problem is, is that the chemical's not tailored for bed bugs, like Crossfire is. So Crossfire is actually tailored for bed bug control, and I have got an itchy nose. I am not picking my nose. I am scratching my nose. I have got, oh, itchy, itchy nose. My grass just got mowed, and I, every time I mow my grass, my nose itches. Anyway, the, uh, so the, the pesticides that you buy that any, I mean, even the stuff you order online, if it's not Crossfire, it's for other bugs like ants, roaches, silverfish, crickets, you know, any kind of bugs that you, you're going to try to get rid of in your house, you can use this pesticide to do it. All right. So if you're going to use Crossfire to try to get rid of bed bugs, it's only for bed bugs. You can't use it to get rid of ants or roaches or silverfish or anything. And so in order to change your pesticide, so if you have, let's use Alpine WSG as an example. If you have Alpine in your tank, 
and you want to use Crossfire. You have to triple rinse your tank and get rid of all the residual of Alpine because you can't go spray an Alpine on someone's mattress. So you're, unless you have a dedicated tank for Crossfire only, you can't use Crossfire. So a lot of these pest control companies, they just don't use Crossfire. And the reason they don't use Crossfire is because they would have to have a dedicated tank for Crossfire only. Now there are some people out there that are doing bed bugs only and they just do bed bug work and they're just bed bug exterminators and that's all they do. And so it's really easy for them to be able to have a tank dedicated for bed bugs alone. So they may do that. But a lot of these bed bug companies would rather push heat treatments. They're way more expensive. So for the price of a liquid application, which by the way, with Crossfire, in the last year that I've been using Crossfire, I've only had to go back on maybe two bed bug jobs after one treatment. So the way that they sell a heat treatment is they say, well, uh, we're gonna come in and we're gonna heat your home and we're gonna kill your bed bugs tonight. Your children can sleep safe tonight. It's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be over with, instant gratification. That's what they're selling you. And if you go back and you watch that video from four years ago, you would believe that chemical just doesn't work after just one treatment. But I'm having really good results with Crossfire. I'm able to get rid of them. I've, go read. The, I ought to just do a video on all the people who have thanked me for telling them about Crossfire who have been able to eliminate the bed bugs on their own. I mean, hundreds? I mean, there's a lot of people that have commented on my videos that have said, thank you, I'm so glad I found you, that you tell, helped me get rid of bed bugs. And I'm not here selling Crossfire. I don't make, uh, MGK, the company that produces Crossfire, they don't pay me anything to do this. I don't make any money from them. They don't, I, all I'm telling you is what I've used. The So I, ha, I do have an Amazon page. I've got an Amazon page with all links and stuff and that's posted below if you're interested to see all the different chemicals for different types of bugs and stuff that you can buy yourself. And Amazon does sell Crossfire. But, uh, and I do make, I, I will admit that I do get a commission off of the sales made through my Amazon link. But it's a place where I can compile all the chemicals that I use. And it's a reputable source and you can buy the products there and you don't have to worry about, you know, some scam. You know, the, the whole point of my videos and the reason I do this YouTube videos and the YouTube channel and everything that I do is to help you guys not get scammed because that's the problem with a heat treatment. A heat treatment is a scam. It's a way to charge somebody three, four, five times what it actually costs to get rid of bed bugs because those heat machines are really, really expensive and they have to charge you thousands of dollars to get rid of your bed bug problem because they've got to pay for that heat, ma heat machine that they went and wasted their money on. So uh, the way I've gotten rid of bed bugs, and this is another reason I believe that, that the bigger companies don't like to use liquid application is because of the sheer amount of labor force involved in doing a bed bug treatment. The risk of hurting your back, the risk of you know, putting yourself out of commission for you know, however long. You really kind of need at least two guys on one bed bug job to help take the beds apart and flip the mattresses. You can require your customers to do that, but I don't. I like to be able to see if there's bed bugs living on the bed when I flip them upside down. If the customer goes and does that for you, then you know who knows what they saw. You're not really seeing where the bed bugs live. You're not really seeing them in the cracks and the crevices and the corners and the you know the seams of the mattress and everywhere that they like to live. So I like to do all that labor. And I actually recommend that if an exterminator is going to do the type of bed bug job that I do, they do that labor on their own as well. The only thing that I require my customers to do is take the sheets and stuff off the bed, but that's because if you, you know, if you do that yourself uh, as an exterminator, you're, you're at higher risk of taking bed bugs home with you because the eggs are super sticky and they might stick to your clothes, or you might even take a hitchhiker bed bug in a pocket or something like that. So I just have the, the customer take all the bed sheets and stuff off of their bed, which is also another question I get asked uh, pretty frequently is, um, how do you stop yourself from taking bed bugs home? Uh, I've never taken bed bugs home unintentionally. I do have a little baggie that I like to pull out every now and then or a bottle that I like to pull out every now and then on my live streams and show people what they look like because I do have them. I do have some in a bottle for you guys. I like to show you what bed bugs look like, but um, that's completely off the subject of, of heat treatments. And so in four years, 
what is my consensus on heat treatments? What what do I feel is the the uh, market for heat treatments? Should you buy a heat treatment? Should you spend three, four, five thousand dollars to have your house treated with heat to kill your bed bug problem? Um, my, if if you haven't figured out by the video, um, I believe that you shouldn't. I don't think that you need to go and waste your money on a heat treatment. I had a guy that was harassing me on YouTube about a night or two ago at four o'clock in the morning that uh, on every one of my videos that I talked to where heat treatments weren't successful. He went in and commented and, and told everybody how I just didn't know what I was talking about. But um, I have been doing bed bug services for over 20 years. I wouldn't still be doing bed bug services for over 20 years if I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, words would get out. And they'd say, whatever you do, don't hire Jason. Jason doesn't know what he's talking about. I do know how to kill bed bugs. I'm very successful at killing bed bugs. I've even got videos here on my YouTube channel uh, of me killing bed bugs. So you can go and you can watch those videos and you can learn on how I actually do them, how I take the beds apart, how I treat sofas, how I treat reclining chairs, you know, all the places that bed bugs like to live. I've got um, really detailed videos on how to uh, you know, do this stuff. So it's not something that I hide. I'm not trying to keep trade secrets away from people. You know, I'm, Killing bed bugs is not something that's completely out of your reach. Um, you, know, you don't have to be a professional to be able to get rid of bed bugs. It helps, it does, because you have knowledge. With being a professional, you do have knowledge on where to treat to be effective and the different places that you want to treat with your pesticides and all of that and how to do it quickly and efficiently and how not to use too much pesticide or where to use little pesticide and where to use more pesticide and all the different things that you learn from being in pest control field that you know you just don't know being a novice but I know people on here I mean there are people here in YouTube that have watched my videos who have been able to eliminate their bed bugs on their own I wrote a book got a little booklet on my Amazon page that it's like a 99 cent Amazon book it's a ebook it's uh, three chapters it's it's real easy to understand it's roaches bed bugs and fleas that's all it's about it's a really good little you know kind of like a handbook for being able to do it yourself and where to treat and how to do it and so um, hopefully this video has explained why heat treatments are not still to this day the best way to get rid of bed bugs they're very expensive they are not very successful. Um, I know that there are people that claim they have this really high rate of success, but one of the reasons that this high rate of success exists is because people aren't calling them back. The prices you have to pay to get a retreat on a heat treatment are astronomically expensive. The thing is, if, if let's say you spend $1,000 and you get a chemical treatment, all right, and, and, and that's what you're getting. You're getting a liquid pesticide treatment. And then you might have to get a retreat in six, seven months if somebody comes back in your house and reinfests. And so let's say you have to pay another $1,000. All right, so that's $2,000 for two treatments in a year. One heat treatment can cost up to $4,000. And they may even give you a guarantee. And they'll say, we'll guarantee your heat treatment for a year. If you have any problems, we will come back and we will treat for free in a year. And that sounds so good, but you've still spent $4,000. And with a chemical application, you may only have to spend two or less. It just depends. I'm using that as a ballpark figure, honestly, because pricing really just depends on where you live and the cost of living. And there's lots of things that go into you know how you price a pest control job. But... If you have to spend $2,000 and get your house, you know, debugged twice a year, or you're going to spend $4,000 with a year guarantee, you've still spent twice as much money to get rid of something that, you know, you could have done another way. There are cheaper ways to get rid of your bugs. You don't have to break the bank to get rid of bed bugs. You really don't. And that's what I'm here to try to explain to you. Now, heat treatments are not something you should ever try. To do your own self. It's not something that I would recommend you do. I don't really recommend doing your own pest control unless you read the uh, label and you feel like you've got the ability to do it. If you read the label and you think, well, I don't know if I really want to try this or not, then don't do it. 
hire somebody to do it. But you have the knowledge now. Call around and demand that your exterminator use Crossfire. They are required by law to read the label. They are required by law to know what they're doing. And they're not going to misapply your chemical. So uh, with this knowledge, call around and, you know, get somebody to do the job right for you. Hopefully this will help you, and hopefully you can sleep well tonight. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it, and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Thanks.